Let's shift gears to Hong Kong. Business Mongol there, Li Ka Shing, the billionaire, is known for his massive investments in both commercial and residential real estate. His Chung Kong Center in the center of the city is one of the most recognized buildings in the world. But now he's going small scale with his latest projects, and they're selling fast. Kathy Yang reports. The frenzied scene last Saturday at the Montfort sales office in Hong Kong. Some of the 10,000 prospective buyers jostled in to buy the cheapest new homes on offer by business mogul Li Ka Sheng. Over 430 out of the nearly 500 on offer were sold on the first day. On offer at Montfort is Hong Kong's tiniest apartment space available. At no more than 180 square feet for about 260,000 U.S. dollars, it's way cheaper than the secondary market, an offer Hong Kongers find hard to beat in a city known to be the world's third most expensive to buy a home. Prospective buyers had not even been given the chance to personally inspect the apartments before closing in on the deal, but they went ahead and bought anyway. I like the environment air conditioning and transportation network around the property. And also, I've lived in Taipo for many years. Buying Mount Vert now is for my own use. Now, this is just the modified show flat of the Mount Vert. It's about 800 square feet of space. But what we're really talking about when we're mentioning a micro apartment is about this size. A 200 square feet of space? You can't swing a cat around here. Perhaps put in a stove and a fridge, but it should be one or the other. So cooking may indeed get a little challenging. Micro apartments such as these reflect the reality of Hong Kong's insatiable need for adequate and affordable housing in a city that's literally running out of space. Many people who are interested have been on site investigating. Our company has made every effort to provide complete information for buyers. Majority of those upgrading to three-bedroom flats bought adjacent open studios for self-use, say property firms. Investors accounted for about 20 percent of the purchases. <coughs> Louis Chan, who's been in the industry for 25 years, says these micro-apartments are not a trend. It's too small for couples. People want at least 400 square feet. 200 square feet is too small. This project is unique. Micro-apartments will not be a trend in Hong Kong. This development in Taipo sits close to a 200-year-old gravesite, typically not good feng shui, a placement for good fortune for the Chinese. But even that haven't kept buyers coming through. Hundreds more of these micro-apartments go on sale in the next few months. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.